Hey guys, this is Sal at Full Spectrum Power and today we are discussing chargers. So a frequently asked question for our team is, can I use a lead acid charger for my lithium battery? The answer is probably, but you should not. Why is the case? So let's discuss a few things. So a charger is used to maintain the health of a battery for a long period of time when the battery is not being used or is out of the bike. Now let's discuss the differences between a lead acid and a lithium battery. So as you can see here, a lead acid battery is, co is comprised of six cells, each rated at two volts with shields and a battery with a resting voltage of 12 volts. Now a lithium battery on the other hand is comprised of four cells, each rated at 3.2 volts, yield yielding and a battery with a resting voltage of 12.8 volts. Now going back to the chargers, both a lead acid and a lithium battery charger will charge your battery to 14.6 volts. However, the difference is in the maintenance firmware in each of the chargers, where the state of charge of the batteries is being monitored. One of the ways that the chargers monitor the state of charge is by looking at the discharge profile. What is this discharge profile that we speak of? Well, let's go check it out. Here is a voltage discharge profile of two lithium batteries and two lead acid batteries when subject to a 10 amp load. As you can see, they're significantly different. So when you use your lead acid charger to monitor the discharge profile of a lithium battery, the charger will be looking for a profile similar to this. However, the reality will be the battery is emitting a profile like this. So as a result, your battery charger may accidentally damage or kill your lithium battery, in which case you won't be happy and your wallet won't either. So that is why you want to use a lithium battery charger with your lithium battery. That's all we have for this, uh, chargers today. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call and thank you for watching.